I have employees in 11 countries, so HR is kind of challenging. Uh, we're fully remote, and uh, one of the things that keeps me up at night is employee engagement. Are my folks uh, uh, excited to come to work? Are they performing? How is their performance? How are their teammates' performance? How are they getting what they need from their managers? So <clears throat> we searched for a long time. We built our own tools, and we finally found a tool that I think, I would say it's probably 80% of the way there. There's another 20% to go, but Confirm's pretty good. So what Confirm does is for us, we use Slack for communication. What Confirm does is it integrates directly into Slack, and we go out and survey our employee base. But inside of it, ask really human questions like, what's going well? What's not going well? How's the engineering team out of Hebron doing? How's the product management team out of Toronto doing? Um, you know, who's the, 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 the best performer in your team? Who needs a little bit of help? It's all anonymous, and it brings it down into uh, a, a summary here that we can use uh, Confirm's large language model, which, which is really just a wrapper on GPT-4, to sift through all of the data. So before my workflow uh, with my HR team was they would do a bunch of surveys. They would spend weeks and weeks and weeks putting a deck together, and then they would come to my Friday morning meeting, we would look at the deck, and then I would you know, have all these edits and concerns and questions and I would pound the table. And they would spend another week doing a deck and then we would do that cycle. And before the quarter was over, maybe we got an insight and then next quarter we would get to get into the business. Well, what happens for our employees when that happens is they stop giving really honest, relevant feedback. Why? Because there's no feedback loop. Right? It takes a quarter to four quarters for anything they say to come into the business. Maybe they've moved teams, maybe they've moved jobs. And so what this does is we don't have that deck cycle anymore. Friday night with a scotch or a bourbon, I sit and I sift through all of this information myself because I could ask human questions. How's the engineering team doing in Toronto? And I get uh, top themes and it will pull out individual snippets from someone's long response. You know, someone's saying a bunch of stuff, but it will go in and say, you know, it's refreshing, blah, 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 right? And so I get insights, and then I can narrow my aperture of the really big problems in the organization, go down to skip level one-on-ones, and use this as a mechanism for, you know, kind of driving forward. So I would offer to you, this is another place to get really good bang for your buck in your organization. Think about your back office, think about the heavy task-oriented places where you're thinking, oh, should I hire another person or this person's overwhelmed? There's a way to augment that work with a lot of these tools to get the most value. And for the CEOs in the room, you're probably not as close to the business as you would like to. I know I wasn't, and this brings me closer to the business every single day.